Okay, so let's go through right now. I'm going to make a calculator program to help us find the sample size that's required for a given margin of error. So that, you know, most of these questions go, what size of a sample do you need to, you know, ensure that the margin of error is maybe below 0 0.04 or some something like that. And we're talking about one proportion of the intervals here. So let's write down, uh, let's figure out what is our sample size. So we're going to start with the margin of error. We know that the margin of error is equal to right, z star times the square root of pq over n, all right, where q is 1 minus uh, p, right, and n is your sample size. Let's rearrange this formula. We've done this a couple times. So the margin of error over z star, if I divide both sides by z star, should equal, let's square this too. I'm going to do two steps in one. I'm going to divide by z star and square, and that'll give me this right here. Do you agree with me? Doing a little algebra. Multiply both sides by n, and they will cancel on the right. And what am I trying to do? I'm trying to find n. So if I then multiply by the reciprocal here, so multiply both sides by z star squared over the margin of error squared. Okay, that's one thing. And that's basically, if I do that on both sides, z star over margin of error squared, and then that'll cancel this. We're going to be left with n has to be, and we'll use greater than, pq times z star over the margin of error and that quantity squared, or it can be individually. doesn't matter. Either one. They both work. All right, so uh, we're going to write a program to do this. Let's get the calculator out right now. Okay, so if you hit the program button, and the key history will be right here if you need some help. Program button, uh, we're going to create a new program. So we go over to new, and then we hit enter, create new. The name we're going to give it. So right now you can see it's already in alpha, so I'm just going to call it ME for margin of error. Me. All right, and now we are inside our program. So um, the first thing we need to do is ask for the values of P and Z and the margin of error, M. So we're going to go into program, input and output, and we're going to prompt. So choice two. So we're going to prompt P. We got to hit the alpha button. So we hit alpha P, hit enter, go back, get prompt again. And we're going to prompt for Z. That's going to be our confidence level. So let's just make that a C. Prompt C. And then we're going to prompt for the margin of error. So once again, into program, go to the right, and we prompt for M, for the margin of error. All right, now that I have all three of those, we just need to figure out um, P times Q, and then times Z star divided by the margin of error squared. So to do that, we're just going to put P. It's a calculator. We got P. And then Q is 1 minus P. And then we need to do, I'm going to do parentheses here, to find Z star. Remember, we have to take, if you remember what we got to do, let's go over here. So Z star, if they give us a confidence level, that's the middle of the curve is the way we need to think about it. Okay, so your confidence level is here. So you need to take, and we need to do an inverse norm, inverse norm from the left tail all the way up to this point right here, and that'll tell us the Z star value. So the left tail, it's going to be 1 minus C because that'll you take 100%, you subtract the middle, that leaves the tails, and then we divide it by 2, and that'll tell us one tail. So really, we want an inverse norm with 1 minus C divided by 2. So in the calculator, we need to do 1. So make sure you're after the parentheses there. We're going to do an inverse norm that's under distribution. So second, distribution. Inverse norm is choice 3. The area that we need. Now remember, that is... I'm going to use parentheses. It's 1 minus C divided by 2. That's the left tail. And then we need to add the middle part of the curve. So let's just C. So 1 minus C divided by 2 plus C. And the mean and standard deviation is 0, 1. We're going to leave it as left. We're going to hit Enter. Um, so what do we have? P, Q. This will give us Z star. We want to divide that by... 
Uh, what's that formula say? The margin of error, so that would be M. Okay, and I think I'm missing a parenthesis. I'm gonna go up and add it. So right here at the beginning, I'm gonna hit second and then insert, because I need another parenthesis there. All right, so we have our inverse norm. We got that, we have this. All right, I think we're good to go. And then we need to square that, right? That'll give us this. And I believe we're all set up for success. So let's run it. We will try our program here. We're gonna quit. We go to program. We're gonna execute me. So, ooh, that doesn't sound good. Execute me. So probability or the proportion here, let's do 0.25 for fun. Confidence level, we'll do 0.95. And then the margin of error, 0.04. And we'll see what happens. All right, and it tells us the sample size we need. So there you go. That's how you do that program. If nothing else, you can copy the program down and then get a buddy to help you out.